format to be able to split a name into first name and last name, I got the right video for you. Uh, I can't tell you for the last few hours I've been looking for a solution for this. And the thing is, I know with Integromat, it's a very sophisticated integrations platform. I know there had to be a solution for it. The only thing with the uh, actual documentation, there is a function, a split function, but it doesn't really give a lot of detail as far as like, you know, uh, uses of it or uh, expanding what uses you can do with it. So I was able to find a solution. I want to share it with you for anyone out there that was struggling with knowing how to split a name or split a string into an array or into first name and last name. Or if you need to be able to apply this to something else, you can be able to split it by uh, the space in between the different uh, string, the different text in the string um, for this. So I'm going to show you really quickly um, right here. I'm using this function uh, split and I'm going to get the output from that function and basically I'll copy the actual function and text into the description of this video and all I'm doing is pretty much I'm going to be splitting um, by the space or if there was another way like a comma or something else that split up the different text you can actually just um, um, put it here and it will look and it will find any place where it actually finds that character it will split into different parts for you so right here is so I put where my parameter I'm passing back from the uh, SAS application API which is name and I'm putting it here and I'm going to split it into different um, bunches and with this one here I'm going to be getting back the first element and pretty much once that's put into that the value for this key that I'm passing over to my other API is only going to give me what was split in the first element of that actual stream so I'm going to hit cancel since it's already saved and right here I want to be able to pass last name to my second API and I'm using the same formula the only difference here and actually it's not changed I think I did it for another example but basically this needs to be a 2 and basically with this one what happened is a second element of the actual array because pretty much is actually making an array and it's using the um, the first element and the, now the second element and it's going to give me back the last name for that string so let's just say for instance this person had a middle name there is a way to be able to do that probably with the if statement to check you know whether or not they have three elements passed back and if so we want to take the first and the third but for this example for anyone that's struggling and for anyone that's looking to find something now and expand later because usually when you're dealing with opt-in forms people may put in their first name they may put in their first and second and last name and sometimes sometimes people may put in um, their middle name so that they put their middle name for this example here it will bring back their first name and their middle name which is probably something else I, I wouldn't want but I'm going to experiment a little bit more to try to find uh, the proper solution for handling that scenario but this should be able to work for probably the majority of your scenarios when trying to pull in a name and then splitting it using Integromat so hopefully this you found value from this again if you have any questions please don't he hesitate to reach out to me You'll find more videos like this on my channel dealing with how to improve yourself, improve your business, and talk to you later.